How's it going, everybody? My name is Philip, and today we're going to jump into something that uh, a friend sent me. He's he's very into uh, watching videos on, on, on dating and stuff. I don't know if he's trying to tell me something. Uh, this one's titled, Who Pays on the First Date? He said, basically, man owns a room full of women. Like, dude, you have to watch it. It's great. I'm like, okay, sure. <laughs> you know, because for one, he, he keeps talking about how it, uh, women nowadays, they want a guy that's six foot, that makes six figures and has a six pack. You know, the triple sixes. Which, I mean, if you're a religious person, you're already just like, no, devil, get away. I was, it was supposed to look more like that. Not just like me fingering my hands. <laughs> but, I mean, this is what he's going on about. I'm like, okay. He's like, 90% of the women want the top 10% of men. Blah, blah, blah. And he goes off on all this. I'm just like, okay. I'm glad I don't watch what you watch, I guess, because then I would definitely be depressed on not... I'm trying to date, you know, like my parents bring it up occasionally. It's like, so, I mean, when you get a girlfriend, we can, you could do this. You could go out and do that, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, no, stop it. Leave me alone. I appreciate that you want me to find happiness and love and whatnot, but let's not. Okay. Let's not go there. It's <clears throat> anyways. So, uh, who pays on the first date? I'm guessing the man does. I mean, that's kind of how it's always been, right? But with, with things changing, I would expect that dating should change as well, right? But apparently not, I guess. But let's, let's check it out. This is Matthew Hussey. Hussey? Hussey? Let's get into it. Let's have one more question. We had this person at the back in the stripes. Um, yeah, let's hear from you. During the dating period, you know, after like four or five months of dating, um, I just wondering at what point does it get, do you have to pay, did the woman have to pay when they go out? The guy is asking that I should, there should be half and half at that point when you already. At, at what point? When you already been dating for four or five months. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, for one, I don't know who this guy is. Matthew Hussey. Apparently, though, women listen to him. I mean, there's a lot of women. It looked like there was a good handful of women there. <laughs> so, I'm guessing he, he knows what he's talking about. I'm Look, sure okay. Uh, to, to give you a quick answer on, firstly, I think we should just deal with the who should pay thing to begin with. Who, When you're on a date, who should pay? <laughs> See, I knew it. It's not changing. I know. I mean, that's what I told them. You know, I'm sorry. But, I say, I'm, you da I'm dating. We're dating. You but know, here's the... Here. Here, okay. He's supposed to pay. Yeah. That's you're what I told I, But you're supposed to have sex with him whenever he says. No. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. What's, where, 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 but what's the, where does this double standard come from? Yo, okay, so that's another video idea that I could throw out there. Double standards between a man and a woman. Obviously, there's the big one with the men with... They can sleep with how all these different women, and they're seen as a, an OG. The, a great, and amazing person. Great with the ladies. Blah, blah, blah. But when a woman does it, she's seen as a whore, slut, hoe, whatever the fuck. That's a massive double standard. That's the only one I could think of that, that really goes in favor of the men or or that from yeah but sorry it's the reality you guys can you can you can moan at it all you want but the moment you say to a guy you have to fucking pay for my time you're saying this relationship isn't equal this relationship isn't equal my time is worth more than yours so you should pay for it see now with that point i feel like the argument that would be given from women is I spend so much time beforehand that you don't see. I spend so much time beforehand getting ready. This just doesn't happen overnight. You know, I gotta put makeup on, I gotta put my eyelashes, I gotta, you know, 
do things up, push them up, look nice and dressed up, blah, blah, blah. You just got to take a shower. Your hair is, for the most part, done already. Unless your hair's like this, then, I mean, you know, you don't got to do your hair. But then you got to do, you know, maybe put cologne on, get dressed, and you're done. I got to do seven extra things. So, uh, you know, or, or I'm the prize. I started hearing that, especially from my uh, co-worker. He's just like, they always think that they're the prize. They're the prize. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, sure. But, you know, that's that's what I guess would be the counter argument to that. I wonder what paradigm that sets up. Here's my view. If you go on a date with a guy and you don't offer to pay your share, you weren't taught right. Ooh. If you go on a date and he doesn't pay, he wasn't taught right. <laughs> I can tell you right now, if I was dating someone and they never offered to pay, I wouldn't be dating them. Offered I to pay? I can tell you that now. If they never offered to pay, I would not be dating them because I'd say, this is the most polite they're ever going to be. And they're not even trying to pay now. Um, <laughs> what does that say about my future? But I... I, look, this, let me come at this from a different angle. I would, I would be treating, I will always treat my partner how I would treat my best friend. Yes, there you and go, yeah. I wouldn't apply a different standard 100%. to my partner than my best friend. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't say to my best friend, let's always go out to dinner and, and you always pay. I'd say, let's be teammates here in whatever way we can. Yes. And maybe, by the way, proportionately, what you can do is less than what he can do. That's a different thing. If he says to you, I want to go stay at the top hotel in Big Sur this weekend, and it's 1,500 bucks a night, and you say, I, can't, I don't have the money. It's his job to say, it doesn't matter. I didn't do it so you could pay. I did it because I want to go, and I want to take you. Great. That's what that is, right? Or if you both agree to go on holiday and you have a fifth of his earning potential, you say, I want to contribute to a fifth of this holiday. It's overly simplistic, but you get what I'm saying, <laughs> right? I'll contribute on the level I can contribute. Yeah, Let you me just tell you show what means that you want to, to be in this relationship. Trying. That yeah. means something to a guy. When he feels that you're not even trying to contribute, that's when he feels used. Because any guy who's really confident and self-respecting, if the woman never is even trying to contribute, he feels like uh, he's being, being taken advantage. Yeah, he's being used. And it has nothing to do with money. It has to do with the lack of gesture. So I would be looking at, if you like this guy, maybe you, if you're in different positions, Figure out what you want to contribute proportionately or what you can contribute pro proportionately and treat him as you would your best friend. Exactly. So I think I think that really sums it up perfectly, you know, where you need to be partners in a relationship. You got to be best friends. You got to you got to work together. You know, I've, I've uh, continued to hear my <laughs> he watches a lot of these videos. He, he continues to talk, uh, my, my co-worker, he continues to talk about how women want the man to do everything for them, and yet the only thing that they give is sex, or they give this bomb-ass pussy, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, well, if the, okay, so if this is true, if what he's saying is true, I'm over here like, if all you're offering in, in this relationship is great sex... Like, honestly, I'd rather just go masturbate. Like, I'm just going to be honest. If, if what you want to give me is just fantastic sex, but you don't do much else for me, I can go, I could even probably go even just do a prostitute at that point. Honestly, like, I mean, it might not be as bomb as you, but it's just like, if all you give me is sex and, 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 and nothing else, you don't give me any sort of emotional support when needed. You don't give me that that companionship that's more than just sex. That's like if, if you and I, if it's cold out and we're on the couch and we're watching something, I don't mind cuddling. I don't mind. My love language is touch, okay? I, I, I am down to cuddle 
when especially when it's cold enough if it's hot i'm not trying to sweat all over you unless we're doing the nasty it's it's literally just that simple you know it's it's like if you're not showing me any effort that you want to be in a relationship with me i'm out i'm done like there, there's really no point in dragging it out especially if if you're interested in someone else and you want to try and pursue that but you don't want to lose me and, and you want to have me as like a backup no we're done not happening open relationships not happening this just makes no sense to me <laughs> unless <laughs> unless i get to have all the women <laughs> I don't think I could even handle that, honestly. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't. I'm happy with just having one. You know, I don't know. I don't understand why why people be cheating, like with men or women. I don't understand. Like, I'd be happy with one person to to be with, and and yet they want to just like, no, nah, I want to. I want. She has a bomb pussy, but she's got this that's going for her. I'm just like, bro, you need to calm down, dude. Like, what the heck is your problem? relax you don't deserve a relationship see that's another thing a lot of a lot of men out there that do that they don't deserve relationships and then they ruin it for all the guys that do want relationships i mean i feel like i'm a nice fun guy honestly i feel like i am a nice guy and fun and i can be an ass sometimes but especially when i'm joking i'll be an ass but it's just like I'm, I'm not going to go up to you and be like, what's up, bitch? What the fuck are you looking at? No. I'm like, hi, how you doing? I'll be nice. You know? I don't know. I'm, get, I'm getting confused with what's going on here. <laughs> with dating. Like, I... J Anyways, thanks for watching. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, I will see you guys later.